Nat Turner, a historical figure, is someone that I didn't learn about until later in my life. Um, I grew up in Virginia, ironically 40 miles east of where Nat Turner's rebellion happened. I grew up in a time where uh, we didn't have a lot of heroes, you know. Um, I come from well below the poverty line, so, you know, when you ask people, you know, about who they look up to, for, for us it was always athletes. And so when I learned about this in college, um, it was something that I gravitated toward. I felt like even before I was, became a filmmaker that this was something that I wanted to acclaim and then apply to my life. You know, when people asked me who I wanted to be like, I'd say Nat Turner. You know, at some point you have to stand up and say, I'm going to do what I want to do, regardless of um, what the odds are. And so about two years ago, I stepped away from acting and said the next film I'm involved with will be The Birth of a Nation and I'll be playing Nat Turner. For the next year and a half, I just raised money and uh, traveled all across the country begging. And uh, as one director, a friend of mine calls it, kissed a lot of frogs and uh, met a few princes. D.W. Griffith, basically regarded as one of the uh, most prolific and um, innovative filmmakers of all time, in 1915 created a film that was the most racist uh, film, not only of its time, but t to date outside of Goebbels, um, films against the Poles in, in, in World War II. This film would have you believe, the original 1915, had you, have you believe that the birth of a nation, the true birth of this nation, the, sus the sustenance that, this, that kept this nation going was based on its justified fear of people of African descent. When this film made it to uh, the theaters, KKK's enrollment you know, rose to over four million. At the end of such screenings, uh, they would take to the streets and they would lynch um, the black people that they saw. I kind of sold this project to investors and cast on legacy. I honestly believe this is a film that can start a conversation, that can promote healing and systemic change in our country.